Hey everyone, so here we have the F4F Wildcat by Parkstone. And this uh, plane I wanted to talk about for a few reasons. Uh, it's one of their newer models, came out a couple months ago now, and uh, it's a great plane. I like a lot of things about it, but what I wanted to talk about a lot about with this plane is I built this with the airframe only. And what I used to build this, build this plane is all the parts from my P51D BL Mustang. Now my Mustang was one of my first four channel planes and you know it lasted a long time and near the end of its life uh, I decided to have my friend Joe Handsome uh, shoot down uh, my P51D BL with a paintball gun. So you know it was getting a lot of damage on it and it had a lot of uh, repairs so I decided to get rid of that plane and put all the parts in here. So one of the main things and main points of this video is to tell you guys if you do destroy one of your planes you can buy a new airframe whether it be the exact same plane or another plane that uses very similar parts. The F4F Wildcat and the P51D BL use basically the exact same parts from the motor, ESC, servos are pretty much the same. Uh, I think it's pretty much all the same parts. Now there is one difference. The F4F Wildcat comes with a rudder uh, preformed with push rod, everything all in place. So the P51D BL, you do have to cut out the rudder. It's not a very hard thing. It takes about 5-10 minutes. You know, it's a real simple job. But let's go ahead and take a look inside the F4F here. Now the F4F has a nice pilot figure in here. Nice canopy and very strong magnets. It's almost hard to get this off. So that's not coming off in the air. It's a very strong canopy. Inside here, as you can see, I used my Park Zone SV80 servos from my P51D BL. Uh, I've got this piece of tape here just holding my antenna wire down by the side. And then my antenna wire goes up. And I've got my uh, receiver down in there. I'm using an AR500. And there's the little antenna that's on the other side. Uh, I've got my ESC, which you can't really see it because it's wrapped a little bit in tape because I had some damage to it, but it still works. So it's just wrapped in tape, which I don't recommend doing that because that does reduce airflow and ESC can get hotter. But this is a 30 amp ESC, and this plane usually has an 18 amp ESC. So the 30 amp ESC should be just fine, even though it's wrapped a little bit in tape. I had some damage, like I said, to the covering. Uh, got my connection here, and I, I use some other types of batteries, so I just got this adapter. Uh, other than that, I got my servos in the wings, which were very easy to put in. Building this kit from uh, airframe only to completely built probably took me about an hour and a half tops. Um, and I worked on it slow just while watching TV. It really doesn't take that long. Of course, it's going to take longer than building you know, the plug and play, which is all, all set up, or the bind and fly. But it's not going to take very long. Servos go under here. I glued them in place. And then this uh, gray here is just tape. You just stick it on to cover up your uh, servo wire and your servo and you're done. Put on the push rods. So basically creating this plane all I had to do was put in the servos and the wings. The servos in here, all the servo slots are pre, pre uh, cut out. You know they just slide right in. SV80's fit perfect. Push rods are in place. You just gotta connect them on each side. You gotta put in your receiver and your ESC and you just stick them down in the front there. Your battery actually goes up in here, in the front, and a 1300 fits perfect, uh, but I've heard that you know you can use an 1800 and that'll be fine. You're going to get a little bit more nose weight, so you're going to maybe need a couple clicks of up elevator, but you can use a 16 or 1800, and, uh, and that's a nice looking plane right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a link uh, in the upper right or left to a flight I have of this. I flew Joe Handsome 99's uh, F4F Wildcat and I think we got some video of him flying it too. So if you want to see a flight video check out the link in the upper right or left. And I'll have some videos of this one flying which it's never flown yet pretty soon. I'll upload those soon. So once again I just wanted to tell you guys you know don't worry if you crash your plane. Almost all the park zone planes are easily repaired and if you you know have done so much damage to it that you want to get a new plane all your electronics are probably still fine. So you can buy an airframe only, save yourself a little money, and put all your parts into it. And there you go, you're flying again. So uh, check out the flight video, and see you guys soon.